You know, the sprained ankle will never heal if you keep walking on it. It's fine. If I stay in that room, I'm going to turn to mush. I'd better get used to walking because they're never going to let me go home. And I want to go home. There's... I need to leave this tux here for Duke Labory. Oh, he should be with his wife in room 502. No, no, the chief says don't deliver it to her room. You just hold the tux here, give it to him when he leaves. Sure. Thanks. What do you need a tuxedo for? Nurse Barnett, report to Dr. Boyd. Uh, Delivered by a policeman. Dr. Boyd. And it's not quite as simple as that, mate. You're going to this meeting, aren't you? Aren't you? I have to go. It's only with you but stop to this nonsense. I have to go. No, you don't have to go. Don't you think Olivia's done enough? You should stay away from her. I'm not going to let you go. I can't believe you're doing this, you know. You lied to me again. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you. That. <laughs> All right. Look, Olivia tried to kill you. Me. She succeeded in killing the baby. Okay, okay, I agree with you. The woman is dangerous and she's also despicable. But don't get yourself upset about it. Come on, get back into bed. Please? I mean, you know she was responsible for the elevator and everything. That's possible. But we can't prove it. It could be one of the Carters. It could be one of the Jerobes. We don't want to merge the families. I stick to death of those people. Whoever tampered with that elevator meant to kill someone. Well, they did. Okay. Okay, I agree with you. I'm as angry as you are. I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. I was carrying that baby, not you. Anna, come on, don't do this to yourself. We're going to go over this somehow, but first of all, we've got to get rid of them all. We've got to put them away. I can't bear to think about those people. They just make me ill. Well, how do you think Olivia feels? She tried to destroy us and she failed. She's more determined. She's more determined. That's how her mind works. If you can call it a mind. I've got to work with Robert. I've got to work with them to put them all behind bars. I've got to go to this party. Are we ever going to have a life away from these people? Of course you are. Of course you, me, Robert. There's many big, a whole house full of babies. I don't, I don't want to carry a baby while Olivia's still around. I just wish to God she'd die. Hi. What's going on in here? Amy says that you got upset because some dry cleaning was delivered to the hospital. Oh, no, it was a little more complicated than that, doctor. Cause it's like well, everything's it's fine. I'm all right. Well, I was counting on you to keep Anna quiet. Now, about the last thing she needs is this type of agitation. I overreacted. That's all. I'm fine. Well, I'm going to have to get you a tranquilizer so that you can get no, some real rest. No, I don't want one. I, think that's I don't want a good one. idea. I'll be right back. Thanks. You need to rest. All I need to know is that you're safe, and you won't be safe in that place. But Robert's going to the whole place for the police. Of course I'll be safe. Why, why can't he just talk to that electrician man? Then you've got a case against Olivia. You don't have to go, then. Okay, we'll see what he finds out from the electrician. I know what you're doing. You're fighting that tranquilizer Dr. Collins gave you. I'm so scared if I go to sleep, something terrible's gonna happen. I know if you don't go to sleep, something terrible will happen. You won't get well enough to go home. You just want to go to that meeting, don't you? Please don't go, please. It's going to be okay. I have to go. The whole place is going to be swarming with police. It will be perfectly. No, I know better than that. I'm not stupid. Listen, Anna. I know what to expect. I know how to look out for. Her. You're going to trust me. Please. Go, then. Go. 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 Listen, Dilly. We wanted to take you and Robin out of the country not so long ago, so this whole mess blew over. I wanted to leave Robert to fight them on his own. But both you and Robert talked me into staying, to be part of a trap. Well, I agreed, and I still agree it was right. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. We'll go and get dressed, then. 
to come and show me how nice you look. Okay, I will. But after tonight, our whole life's going to change. You'll see. target, not Anna. He said that part of it was an accident. It wasn't an accident, it was murder. I'm going to kill her myself. I'll rent her bloody neck. Okay, let's, let's, let's not forget who you're talking to, you police officer. I may share your views, but I'm still a cop. Now, we're too close at this point to get him a lot of them to screw it up. I might tell him about Olivia now. I don't want to be near her tonight at this party. Listen, you're not going to keep your mouth shut until we get that woman in an unpadded cell. Now, let's go. Point in telling the world that we're here. Who's got the concealed mics? All of us. All of us. Ah, what about weapons? Yes, sir. Yep. Absolutely. Sam, if it's not giving away too many of the family secrets, so where are you and Bits hiding your guns? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, 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 Hey guys, wait just a minute. We'll have to save one of you. Hey, come on, will you cool it, guys? All right, a bunch of waiters. Enough. Now. The person to watch at this party will be Duke Lavery over here. Point one, his life could be in danger. You don't have to worry about that. No comment. And point two, he happens to know everybody in there. So on his signal, you'll move in to monitor certain conversations that we in turn will be tape recording back here. However, right? if you happen to hear on your own some conversation that might be incriminating, don't be afraid to get a little close to that conversation. The video here is a little bit... Uh, Static. We can't move around much, but right. we're going to try to match those conversations with the video later on. Now, at some time during the proceedings, this meeting is going to take place. We don't make a move until they all leave the banquet hall and go into this rear room. Duke will be there, as will Victor Jerome and Olivia. You don't make a move to go back there until I tell you to. Then we bust a lot of them. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. <sighs> Uh -huh. Showtime. Who we got? We got uh, we got Big Boy Shapiro and Manny the Head Kicker. <laughs> Both top people with the Carter family. Good men. All right, guys and gals, get out there and be good little waitresses and waiters. Off you go. Well, geez, do we get to keep our tips? Get out of here! Have you heard of the police coming? Give us a break! Give us a break! Move it! Move it! Yes, right. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, good right. Yeah, goodbye. You watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amy, is uh, Anna awake? Oh, no, she isn't. Dr. Collins gave her a tranquilizer because she really needed to get some rest. Oh. oh, I was hoping you could see her before she went to sleep. Yeah, uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see Cheryl around. Did you? I mean, maybe with Robert? No, but everybody seems to be looking for her. A lady did call a little while ago um, asking about Anna, though. She 
You did. Uh, did you get a name? No, I was really busy, but it could have been Cheryl, couldn't it? Maybe. Well, yeah, it could have been if she was asking about Robert and asking how Anna was doing. I'm sure it was her. This lady didn't ask anything about Robert, just Anna. I don't know. Oh, mm. thanks. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go try to brownstone one more time. I mean, somebody's got to show up. They can't just all disappear. No, that's a good idea, honey. I'm going to go down and peek in uh, Anna's room, make sure she's sleeping all right, okay? You know what your problem is, sweetheart? Uh, what part of my problem are you talking about? I'm talking about the part of your problem, sweetheart. That you've been with WSB so long that suspicion has become part of your DNA. Yeah, you're probably right. Exactly. In fact, I know you. All right, so are we. I'll make a couple of calls. You call Party. Hey, nice to see you, Charlie. Hey, that little problem with the trucking, we got that sorted out. Oh, yeah, sorted. Fine. You send the word down, the boys did what you said. I owe you a big one on that. No, 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 no. So like That's Charlie Ring. They have to Pinky have fresh Ring, girls. That's him. Miami. Give him a Business big one. Businessmen don't want old hookers. So where do you find fresh hookers these days? I have my sources. Oh, this is Scott's boat. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, drug after cocaine. <laughs> Listen. The drugs is all right. It's not that we have to establish new users. <laughs> We're down to grade school already. Gee, I'm gonna kill. Forget it, forget it. Console yourself with the fact that we're gonna bust them all. Commissioner, listen what? to this. Who would ever believe that the Jeromes would invite any of us to a party like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a hollow point slug as you're walking the walk. Yeah. You believe old Victor wants to bring the families together? <laughs> Here's lousy heart. Who cares what he wants? Just as long as the surprise of plan in six guys on the balcony with Uzi. Nah. You don't want to start World War III? Ah, it's nice to know the traditional values of uh, comradeship and trust are still intact. Mm -hmm. If I thought those two families were really going to get together, I'd really be worried. Listen, do you suppose we're getting anything indictable on typing? Really? We're getting a lot of good leads here, and we're starting to put some faces with the names. Hey, yep. Ha, ha, ha. new son, Duke. It fills my heart to see you here tonight taking your rightful place. I told you, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Many times. I never trusted you, but now I do. Thank you, Victor. Thank all of you. Hey, hey, Hello, hey. hey, 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 hey. Why are you... Oh. Oh. I'd say you shouldn't have done it, but you already did, so I guess I have to accept it, huh? I'm just standing up today, Victor. Oh. 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 You are a people, president, politician. Oh. Oh. Don't put them away. I want to read, though. He's a lovable old guy, he looks like, huh? You should be dancing. You should be eating. You should be drinking. Why are you standing around? You want to watch an old man make a fool of himself over these beautiful expressions of friendship. Huh? <laughs> hey, maestro, some music. We don't have anybody covering you. Come on, Sam, move it. Move. I don't see a thing. Where would she be? And why that big act of coming around to get my blessing? I don't know what she's talking about. Whatever it is, it's against us. We're going to have trouble. Where is that brother of mine? Beats me. Maybe he figured he'd do better with your old man. He wouldn't dare. You look like you could use a drink. Here, mind off your troubles. Why would he do this to me when he knows it's the most important night of my life? Hey, hey don't come unglued. Everything's going to go just fine. I need to be alone. You sure? Yes. Go, please.
The guys are starting to loosen up a little. Yeah, and Dean will do it for you every time, huh? Where's the car? You got my glasses? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I need my glasses. I want to read all this. Send the waiter. Huh? Honey, I'm going to get them myself. Just a minute. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Here, my dear. You come over here. Me? Yeah, just leave the tray there. Come over here and help me read these cards. Why, sure. I'd be happy to. <laughs> That's a <our> girl. Christmas. <laughs> Um, from Anthony Carter. Oh, yeah. He's that kid that they have on Wall Street. Very bright young man. Look into that, will you? Yeah, with pleasure. Duke. Hello. <laughs> I, I wanted to uh, tell you how sorry we are about the baby. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're very sorry, too. And how's Anna? She's fine. She's, you know, a pretty strong lady. This was your first? Yeah. Of course. But we are determined to have a child of our own. Well, sis, the last place I don't know what else to do. I called every single place that she could possibly right. would. Uh, Amy Cheryl didn't have to didn't happen to call, did she? No, sorry. Let's go see Anna now. Huh? <sighs> Thanks. Sleeping like a log. Let's just leave her alone, okay? <sighs> Dr. Creevy to ICU. Dr. Creevy to ICU. Got another hunch you need a scratch or something? Hmm. Just uh, bear with me, will you? 